Hello YouTube. So in today's video, I'm actually headed to Houston, Texas. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and pick up some precious cargo. After that, I'm probably gonna go uh, around Houston or maybe head out to San Antonio. So make sure you guys uh, stay tuned and here we go. Dirty dudes! All right guys, before we go, safety first. Always wear your safety belts. Also, I already went ahead and I filled up with gas and I went ahead and checked all my fluids, brake fluid, power steering fluid, oil, of course, and coolant. So make sure every time you guys travel, make sure you guys uh, check your fluids and uh, make sure everything's A-OK. -okay. So um, safety first, let's keep this video going, guys. All right, guys, made another checkpoint. I'm gonna be showing you guys uh, how to properly cross the checkpoint. Um, unlike some other guys that really like to give these guys problems. I'm gonna be showing you guys here at the I-35 going uh, northbound to San Antonio slash Houston. You said it. Thank you. Thank you. And there you go, guys. As easy as that. Declare your citizenship, and off you go. So let's keep it going. Uh, probably gonna stop at Bucky's. I don't know if you guys are interested in uh, and how Bucky's looks and uh, how everything is set up there. So uh, I'll probably stop there. So let's keep it going, guys. Three more hours. Made it to Bucky's, and I'm gonna go show you guys inside and uh, infamous little B row over there. I'm just gonna fill up some gas, and I'll show you guys the interior in a bit. All right, guys, so let's take a picture with the Beaver, Bucky's little Beaver. I think it's like a, a right away if you're here in Texas. Stop by at Bucky's and take a picture with the beaver. There he is. All right, guys. So I'm going to be showing you guys around Bucky's. I'm going to start off here with some pork grinds. I don't know if you guys know what these are. I'm going to be showing you some sauces. I have tons of tough sauces. So uh, let's keep it going, guys. They do have tons, tons, tons of sweets in here. So make sure you guys uh, keep an eye on them. All the different types of sweets, candies, candy canes. They also have a lot of salsas, spicy, medium, different types. They also have a lot of nuts. Right now I'm going to be showing you guys all the variety of nuts they have. A lot of beef jerky, so uh, let's keep it going, guys. So here we are on the nut sections. They have uh, chocolate covered nuts, almonds, peanuts. Look at all these pecans. Super delicious, guys. So like I said, they do have a lot of sweets. Look at all these brownies, cookies. More brownies, brownies and brownies. And more nuts. Yes, you guys, they have more nuts. Check them out, making them fresh. Recommend these type of nuts, they're super good. Also, they got more sweets. Here we go with some pastries. They got some cookies. Okay, so finally made it here to the beef jerky section. These are super good, but kind of pricey. I do recommend, it was the cherry 
something covered beef jerky. I recommend it. Super delicious. I don't know how fresh they are, but they do keep them in a cool refrigerated area. They do sell these in bags. So now we're walking into the souvenir section. They have a lot of t-shirts, bathing suits, shorts, hats, stickers. A little Bucky's faces on everything. They have little Bucky shorts, hats, lanyards, bottle well, opener. They have everything Bucky's here. Even stuff for your dogs. They have a lot of glasses, mugs. Super cool. Like my favorite section they have a lot of fresh foods they got brisket chicken um, sausage some chips super delicious it gets in the background they're cutting up that uh, brisket and sausage again I think this is what I'm gonna get right now and those nuts I've been telling you guys about I'm hungry though I got myself one of these sandwiches and my monsters of course not sponsored but I do love monster for you guys that are on a diet, here we go with a lot of salads. The food's not that good, but it's something for the stomach, I guess. Like people say, I usually stop for Bucky's to go to the restroom, and you usually spend at least. 10 or 20 even 60 dollars every time you stop here i do want to mention the restrooms from bucky's are excellent they have um, a lot of stalls and a lot of urinals so that's a plus here at bucky's they have like with this one i think they have like maybe 15 15 stalls and urinals i didn't count maybe 12 so yeah bucky's monster time not sponsored all right guys finally made it to san antonio picking up that uh purses cargo houston, or houston we're in houston texas and houston texas and it's raining so and it's much. raining hard and it's raining so much safety and for seatbelt yeah oh, oh, oh. We went ahead and stopped at McDonald's. What are you eating? Chicken. We're back at Riley's. 
So we're here at O'Reilly's. We're going to be changing out those air filters because my gas mileage is up the roof right now. I'm going to be showing you a clip. But we're using the brands they have here. They don't have the... They have the Wix filters. Never heard of them. But I'm going to be using these. Let's see if we see a difference. The old filter, the K&N. I can't believe it's making my gas mileage bad. It's clean. It's practically new. Let's see what happens. I'm not going to throw them away. I'm going to keep them. All right, so with the K&M filter, we're doing 19 miles per gallon. This is highway mileage, guys, driving from Rado to Houston. Uh, 19 miles per gallon, that is bad. It should be doing at least 20-some, 20 26, maybe. Well, let's see if those filters um, get better. All right, guys, already uh, leaving San Antonio. We just stopped by to say uh, hi to the family, my brothers and my little... Uh, nieces and nephews and now we're going back to Laredo probably go to um, Chuck E. Cheese or Peter Piper Pizza and probably end the video there so uh, make sure you guys stay tuned and um, stay tuned because I got plenty of more videos coming up probably gonna go on a little trip soon me and my son so make sure you guys uh, stay tuned and let's keep it going Daddy, dude. All right, guys, made it back to Laredo. We just freshen up. Right now, we're gonna go eat at uh, Chuck E. Cheese. Play, play some games. So uh, let's keep it going, guys. Remember, keep uh, keep your eyes tuned because we're actually gonna have a lot more content, um, a lot more videos coming up. So make sure you guys uh, stay tuned. Here we go, all right, guys, finally made it to Chuck E. Cheese. Chuck E. Cheese is right here. Drove five, six, seven, eight, eight hours to come to Chuck E. Cheese. Chuck e. Cheese. And then we'll go back to drop, drop them off back in Houston. Any of videos coming up we're gonna go ahead and take a trip down here in south texas so make sure you guys uh, stay tuned for that and uh, thank you